Another snowy Saturday here in central Newfoundland. People's out plowing their driveways, snow blowing, doing a little bit of clean up. I guess we got another five centimeters, which was uh, a welcome sight because uh, before this there was a lot of, we had a lot of melt, which created a lot of ice, icy conditions. And, so this little bit of fresh powder might work into the ice now and make it a little bit more uh, suitable for getting around. Still not uh, ideal conditions for ATV or snowmobile really, but we're kind of in between here. So we need a bit of cold weather now to get everything froze up. So we're out in the garage again today and Santa Claus came a little bit late. That, my friends, is a 1983 Honda ATC 200E. Got a call uh, a couple days back. There was a gentleman uh, that had this at his cottage for his son that never really took a liking to it, I guess. I never really used it. So we thank him for dropping me a line there and we had a good discussion there and got some pictures. And what a real little time capsule. Nineteen eighty three. That's one that we don't have. Uh nineteen eighty three, we have the eighty four. The 82, 85, 86. So, in various models, I had to drive yesterday and pick it up probably four hours time I got back. So we're just in the preliminary stages here now of uh, a quick check over, because I was kind of in a rush yesterday. I never got a chance really to give it a good look over. A couple things I did notice was there was a nut missing. The handlebars were loose here. There was a nut missing underneath the uh, the mount that the handlebars goes on. So I just replaced that. There is a little bit of play in the front bearings. The axles, uh, if anybody's familiar with them, they are a real nightmare. Getting them out through the uh, out through the hub on the other side. There's a collar there that wants to uh, usually seize his on. But this one being in the shape that it's in, I'm kind of hoping that it's, uh, it's going to come apart. Everything on this is 100% totally original. There's not one bit of spray bomb. Uh, no welding. Let's see if I can give you a shot of the uh, rear end here. Totally original. The bearings are good. This, of course, is chain drive. The 1983, 84 before they went to shaft. There's a little bit of play in this hub on the left side. I took it for a little ride around the garden yesterday. High and low works great. The tires are phenomenal. And a couple little things on there now, if someone probably already notices, we got a couple Honda line accessories. If you've seen our last video, we just finished up, uh, well, almost finished, a 1982 ATC 200 that my Uncle Emo had. And there was a Honda line hitch and front and rear rack on that. So, this is the first one that I've seen. The gentleman did say this came from a Honda line, and I was kind of questioning it, but... After further research, this is a Honda Line basket. As you can see, we got the four mounts that goes right down to the factory rack. And something else that I didn't, uh, the first time I've ever seen these is these little uh, foot peg extensions. Which is great if you've uh, got two people. 
Rear brakes are good. Front brakes are good. We just got a little stiff cable. And a cable for the rear brakes and the handbrake mechanism. The cable seems to be stuck, so. Yeah, everything's there, man. Clean as a whistle. No rust whatsoever on the frame. Let's see if I can get the, the light. And another little bonus. The original owner's manual from 1983. Check that out. And we got the original registration. This machine came from Alberta. Just a high low reverse on this one. A little wheat there of, uh, of oil around the, uh, the head there, but like I say, <laughs> I haven't seen one that did not have that. Wiring harness at all is intact. Original paint is on the frame. And checked out that tank. Phenomenal. Bit of dirt there. All the original boots here for the uh, 12 volt connector. The windshield did also come with it with a quick disconnect. That carburetor boot looks like there's a bit of oil on that around there. I don't know if that's coming from the uh, yeah, the intake, uh, intake manifold or the intake adjuster. So that'll be clean. I gotta take the seat in the tank now. Now I'm probably going to clean up the carburetor. The only thing I did see of any question is, of course, the exhaust would be 40 years old. So there is a couple holes in the bottom, and the, uh, the baffle is gone. So let's see if we can fire up for a quick second. Electric start, battery's good. I might need a choker now, probably. Fires up first, little. But a few quick adjustments on that carburetor now on a set of bearings. I might go ahead and order the cable. And see if I can't get that exhaust off. Probably patch that up or put another one on. It is original exhaust, so I'm going to try to do the patch job. And we might go so far as getting the original stickers. This is a big grid. One of the first big grids, so. We'll get a couple stickers ordered on there. Couple of original stickers. Like you say. Yeah, so there you go. This is more of a revival than a restoration, I guess, because uh, there's not a big lot really to do with it. All these little rubbers are on. For the toolbox the kit. Back here. There's a brand new seat on it. And the first thing I want to look at was the seat pan, of course, because you know what's going on we just had with our 1982. Original toolkit. This was wrote on there is the last oil change or one of the oil changed 10w40 changed oil September the 2nd 
2017, so that's probably the last time, one of the last times it was used. We're gonna go ahead now and check the, check the air box, check the filter, all the tank. There's a little bit of play in our the throttle linkage, so probably make an adjustment on that. Yeah, and we'll get a video uh, when we get our few parts in. I might go ahead and get the, the little triangle stickers that goes on the fenders there as well. Because this one is definitely uh, original, well worth a few extra dollars put in. Look at that tank. I haven't seen a tank so clean as that one. Long time. Yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. This is a, probably going to end up being more of a 2024 New Year's project, but I just figured I'd get a preliminary video here. Couldn't pass up the deal. You know, these things are few and far behind. Actually, a, a quick little story. One of the first ATCs that I have ever owned that my grandfather picked up for me actually was a 200E same setup and it was a lot rougher shape than this one's in so it would have been the first one that I personally owned because the other one I used at that time was was grandfather's and we actually got her restored as well so Yeah, there she is. Around here, guys, these are few and far between. There's a Scatter 84 going around, high, low, and reverse. They seem to, I think if you look at the numbers, the 84 Big Red was probably the most mass-produced. Like I say, I haven't seen one of these 200E in years. So, front suspension is rough on all of them. They all have a tendency to seize. Same as the 84s. So yeah, let's do a little clean up. And follow our maintenance schedule. We're going to check the chain tension, change the oil, all the adjustments, cables and brakes. And a little bit of gas leaks out of that. Uh, I noticed yesterday before I took her off the trailer, a little bit of gas was pouring in over the tank, which is the gasket little rubber gasket so you see the gas leaking there now yeah the gasket's all cracked up so anyway that's another little thing anyways guys let me know what you think it's probably going to be a keeper along with Uncle Elam's now and grandfather's especially with the registration you can get it uh, transferred into your own name is always good. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I'll say Happy New Year. And all the best in 2024. Over and out.